Here's a question on estimating a calculation. Work out an estimate for this calculation, so no calculator allowed. Um, now that doesn't mean guess the answer, it, it means something very specific mathematically, and that is technically you've got to round these values to one significant figure. Now we don't really need to worry about that, that detail, what we need to do is think about what number can we use to represent the 7 that's really simple. So we look at our first digit, and that's the 7. So to the nearest whole unit, that is 7. It doesn't round up to 8. Then we look at this one. Our first digit here is a 1, but that's 110. So we need to round that to the nearest 10. And the nearest 10 for 19.7 is 20. And we're going to divide that by 0 0.46. But this is our first digit that's important. So is it going to be 0 0.4 or 0 0.6, 0 0.5? So we need to round that to 0 0.5 because this 6 rounds it up. So that's the calculation we actually need to do. And you would get you would get marks for um, just be, just writing a 7 or a 20 or a 0 0.5. That would get you one method mark if you see if they see a couple of those. Um, or if you do this top calculation and get 140, that gets you a method mark as well. And now trying to attempt to do this division, dividing by 0 0.5, quite often people just end up doing dividing by 2 rather than 0 0.5 because you think it's, you get a bit confused with that, so they end up putting the answer as 70. What you need to be careful with is um, when you divide by 0 0.5, if I divided 1 by 0 0.5, that's equal to 2. Because when I'm dividing by 0 0.5, I'm finding how many halves go into 1, and there's 2. And essentially that tells us that doesn't matter what we divide by 0 0.5, we have to actually double that number. So double 1 is 2, double 2 is 4, because for every 1, there's 2 0 0.5s go into it. So divided by 0 0.5 is the same as times in by 2. Another way of doing that is another technique we can use for division is if we times the top and bottom by the same number, that actually keeps the division the same. So if I double the top, 280, and I double the bottom, 1, that gives us the answer 280, because 280 divided by 1 is just 280. Now, normally in the past that would be the only answer that's acceptable but they will they will accept an answer between 280 and 300 for one answer mark you won't get anything more than that if you just guess the answer and it happens to be in that range you have to have the working to get the other two marks